Chapter 11's got five treasures and one optional conversation in it. The first treasure is right off the top here. As soon as you start the chapter, you'll come down these stairs on your right, bang a quick left, and you'll follow this curve around to the left side of the platform you were just on. You'll see a dark alley down at the end that'll bang off to the right. Follow the stairs down there, and go right to the end of the alley, and right where it ends, you'll find the first treasure. There it is, sitting on top of a crate. For treasure number two, you'll be starting from there and heading back up where you came. We'll go into the right-hand side of the market and following that until you get to a shopkeep that's got the treasure on his desk. He's not going to part with it right away, though. I mean, if you just give the guy 500 bucks, you could have it immediately. Excuse me. But you're going to waste about 20 seconds haggling with him. This is something out of Avery's era. Where did you get this? Uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'll give you a discount. Five hundred dollars. Mom, are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. Give you fifty bucks for it. Four hundred dollars, and it's real. I don't know why interested in that. Come on, man. Two hundred, okay? That's all I have on you. I cannot possibly part with it for less than 300. That is my final offer. How about I don't shoot you? That is my final okay. offer. Really? Done. 299.50. Final offer. All right, there's your second treasure. You say so. Starting from this stall here, you're going to keep heading down through the market. Now, I don't know if you have to pick up the apple from this lady, but I did just so I could get the achievement. Uh, but you do have to talk to the lemur man. So I grabbed the apple from this lady just in case he needed to. Fine, fine. Here. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. And you go right down here to your left and chitty chat with this lemur man. Hey there, little guy. What are you doing? Me, you, and the boom of food. Sully, come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Seriously, on, Sully, it's a friggin' lemur. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. And as you walk your way down the hall here, the lemur will catch up with you, snag that apple. I'll give you a quick hey, little achievement, and it'll let you start a conversation with Sully. He stole my apple. Can't trust anyone these days. You know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get it. And that's the only optional conversation in this chapter. As you progress further, you'll climb through this window to enter the tower. Okay. As soon as you've come in, Let's you're gonna look for got. the same room you entered through, but on the opposite side of the building. And cross right across that sigil, and then enter here on your right. And you'll see it on that little platform right at the feet of the, of the statue. Might make getting the treasure out a bit tricky. After you've climbed the tower, you'll uh, come to the final bell that you want to ring. But instead of ringing it, climb up this uh, wall to your right. There's a lot of handholds. You're going to want to shimmy your way up until you find, uh, what do you call it, a balcony. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for a balcony. That balcony, actually, right there would work. But I decided to go the wide way around for some reason. I think uh, I think I thought the treasure was further over than it was. Once you're up on this balcony, though, you'll find it just across that wooden beam on the opposite side. Boom. Treasure number four. And treasure number five is after you ring the bell, and you fall all the way down to the bottom of the tower again. Hey, Sally. Before you head down that spiral staircase and go into the Founder's Puzzle Room, just follow this area around here, and you'll find your final treasure in the wreckage right back here. And that's that for the collectibles in Chapter 11. Thanks for watching.